Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again. Fasten your seatbelts, guys. First time ever a reaction to Pink Floyd. Yes, uh, great gig in the sky. Taking it back to 1973. First time ever hearing this. Um, so I'm brand new to this, guys. Uh, this music, I'm not accustomed to listening to any this, this style of music, so it's brand new to me. Let's see what what they've got for us. Um, Unbelievable, unbelievable. But very heavily requested for Rock Out Tuesdays. Hopefully you're enjoying that. So can't wait to get my hands on this. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me, both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. And guys, if I go bananas, and this song hits me a certain way. It's going to go directly on my Spotify playlist. Be sure to follow me there. Derek Reacts. Link in the description down below. I also have cool new merchandise made available for purchase. Check that out when you get a chance. Inspired designs made possible by you guys and my musical journey. DerekReacts.store. Check it out when you get a chance. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's go. This thing is so complex. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. You never, I've never heard something like this before. This is so complex, um, I, the, guys. The lyrics is just a small little. I've never seen sh short lyrics like this in my life. Uh, reacting to songs and just hearing songs in general, never seen short lyrics like this. And you get b a piano, bass, drums, these vocals that are just completely out of this world, that are just completely soaring up to the skies. Hence the title. Hence the title. And and just giving and giving all this lift. It's too. It's so complex. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to um, analyze this in the in its correct manner because it's just too. It's just too 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 much. Too much for me. Too much for me. Let's continue. Goodness.
God. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> this is crazy. That piano, that piano. Oh. So subtle, so subtle there at the end. This is this is just incredible. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know where to start. I just don't know where to start. I don't know because this is this is so complex in itself, but it's one of those songs that I could just keep just talking about forever. I could just keep talking about forever and come up with so many different types of um circumstances, so many different types of things that are just floating in my head when you just really really sit down and i think the i think the reason why there isn't a video i haven't seen any videos or anything like that so youtube i couldn't find one is because you it, it makes you want to think it just makes you want to think it makes you want to really understand kind of like introspectively and also reflect you know the point of living um and almost kind of like that those last moments in life, I guess, that you have. Um, and just, you know, not taking things for granted. I mean, I can just keep going on and on and on. It's just one of those songs. It's one of those songs. It really, it really, it really evokes pain. It ev evokes sometimes anger. It evokes sadness. I mean, I was, I, like, towards the middle, even towards the end, when the piano started coming in after all of that height with instrumentation, um, I was, I was getting sad already. I was getting sad. I was getting sad. And it's because you kind of like, you, you feel some type of pain that comes, that, that comes within someone at their, la in their last moments of life or whatever. I mean, for, for, for that matter. I just can't really, I can't, I can't really explain it. I mean, that's just, that's just how I felt. Maybe someone else would feel something, someone, some, something differently. Maybe you guys may feel something differently. But for me, that's where I came from. Um, Sensational, sensational vocals by Claire Torrey coming in and 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 owning this and and truly probably doing doing it doing it uh, doing it the way that 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 just that cr that created all of that intensity, you know, in such a way. And there you have it. And, and then the thing is too with this is that. Um, it's one of those things that, one of these type, kind of songs that you listen to over and over again, and you will find something new, something new surprising. You find something, you hear something, and you're like, oh my God, look at this. Look at this piece. It's nice. That piece is good. Look at the way this is put together. It's just, it's very complex, very complex. And for its lyrical purpose, that it just has this very short part. And I'm not afraid of dying. Any time will do. I don't mind. Why should I be frightened of dying? There's no reason for it. You gotta go sometime. If you hear this whispering, you are dying. And just that little piece lets you think about all the things that are just going on in your head. And it's just, it's just, it's just brilliant. It's brilliant. And then you have the title too, which is another thing. The Great Gig in the Sky. Um, it could be it could be a song about departure. It could be a song about, you know, leaving those that that, that you love behind. You know, um, I'm watching this great show. It's called Away. It has to do with astro you know astronauts visiting visiting space, going out in space, and leaving families behind for years. They're gonna be out in space for years, and all they have is just communication between, you know, just digital things to help to help them communicate. I mean, it's just. The list just goes on and on. It's truly something very, very I've never heard before, and it falls under the progressive rock category. Um, 
feature music by Richard Wright, and non-lexical vocals by Claire Torrey. Non-lexical. She's not, I mean, not even saying anything. Not even saying anything. It's just, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So let's get right into this, um, because I got... I got kind of like emotional there in, in, a, in, in a sense. It began life as Richard Wright chord progression, known variously as the Mortality Sequence or the Religion Song during the first half of the 1972 was performed live as a simple organ instrument, instrumental accompanied by spoken word sa samples from the Bible and snippets of speeches by Malcolm uh, Muggeridge, a British writer known for his conservative religious views. By September 1972, the lead instrument had been switched to a piano with an arrangement very similar to the final form without vocals and slightly different chord sequence in the middle. Various sound effects were tried over and over on the track, including recordings of NASA astronauts communicating on space missions, but none were satisfactory. Finally, a couple of weeks before the album was due to finish, the band bought, thought of a female singer um, wail over the music. And that's what you hear. You hear all this wailing. You know, It's almost like a cry for help, in a sense, if you think about it. Um, and when you think about this song, now that I'm, now that it's coming, coming, it's, you, you can, I hear like the way, you know, dying, denial, you know, this anger, it, it means just, just so many different, different types of emotions, different types of emotions. It's amazing. Um, almost everyone involved in this song, ex uh, with exception of Nick Manson, has commented that the production offering different inputs and insights of how the song was created. Great Gig in the Sky was just playing in the studio, playing some chords, and probably a Dove Ranger said, hmm, that sounds nice, maybe we can use that for this part of the album. And then um, me going away and trying to develop it, so I wrote the music for that, and then there was this little uh, middle bit uh, with Claire, Tori singing it, that was fantastic voice. We wanted something for that bit, and she came up in and sang on it. Isn't that amazing? And, you know, there's just more, I mean, other members, I'm not going to go through this, just too much to talk about, but other members have contributed to the, to the, uh, to talking about this, this, this song. And it's just, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, how simplistic in a sense, this song you may think it is, right? By, by, by first glance, but it's more than that. It's very complex and it's four minutes. And I think there's an extended version too. You guys let me know what you think about this one. It's very, very, very interesting stuff. Very interesting. I mean, it's just, it's jaw dropping. I mean, <laughs> right from the beginning, the, the vocals, how high they were going. Um, there you have it. 70s and look at this, how, how well it aged. Until next time for more fantastic videos like these guys, take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys, take care. Love you guys. Peace.